Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting coding challenge. Today we will be diving uh, into a popular question that's all about string and uh, subsequences. So this is a great exercise for those of you getting started with algorithm or preparing for coding interview. So let's get into it. The problem we are tackling today is titled is subsequence. So given two strings S and T, we need to determine whether S is a subsequence of T. Uh, a subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining character. So for instance, ABC is uh, a subsequence of A, H, B, G, D, C, because we can find all characters of ABC in uh, H, uh, J, B, G, D, C, uh, in same order. However, A, X, C is not a subsequence of uh, A, H, B, C, because X and C does not appear uh, in a particular uh, string. So, all right, uh, time to start uh, coding. So, uh, we will use Python for this uh, solution, but don't worry if you are more comfortable with other languages, I will include equivalent solution in C++, Java, JavaScript, and C Sharp, and much more in the description below. And we will uh, define a function is a subsequence inside a class solution. So we will initialize two pointers, one for each string. This pointer will iterate over their respective uh, strings. So uh, let's uh, create and implement our uh, function and I will explain everything right away. So if then is zero return true, s pointer will be zero, t pointer will be zero, while t pointer less than len of t, if t t pointer equals s s pointer, then s pointer plus one, if s pointer equals len s return true t pointer plus one and return false okay so this is our implementation so here we have abc and uh, uh, ring t so uh, let's run it i'm running it so to see if it's working so yeah uh, abc is a uh, subsequence of our t so it's output true so all good and what we did so we create a while loop during uh, each iteration we check if the current character is s and uh, t match if they do we uh, increment the pointer in s uh, we increment the pointer in t where uh, a match is found or uh, not so uh, that's it our function is now ready. So let's test it also for unseen test cases. So I'm running it uh, for unseen test cases to verify everything's work. Yeah, it's first run. And as you can see, we beat 99.6% of other uh, codes. So it's really efficient. And we beat 65% uh, with respect to uh, memory. So uh, working as expected. So I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Uh, and understanding how to manipulate and analyze string is a fundamental skill in coding. And this problem is a great way uh, to practice it. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit uh, the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I regularly post solution to coding problem tutorials and much more and other programming uh, content that can help you become a better coder. So. Uh, good question or comments, uh, leave them down uh, below. And I love hearing you, uh, your thoughts, and I'm here to help you on your coding journey. Thank you for watching. Happy coding and see you next time.